Well, that was then. And this is now, nearly one year after the deadly house explosion in Mississauga, much of this neighborhood is still in the recovery phase. 25 families remain displaced as their homes are under some form of reconstruction. Well, right now, here's a live shot of Hickory Drive. In fact, what you're looking at is a lot where that house once, uh, once stood. Uh, it exploded uh, nearly a year ago, uh, shaking this entire neighborhood. Uh, you can still see a hole in the ground, and I can tell you debris is scattered all over. Now, if you look around this neighborhood, you can also see that many of the homes here are still boarded up. Well, tonight we take a look at efforts made to pick up the pieces for uh, the people living here. We also take a look at the ongoing struggles some of these residents are still facing. When we moved, we didn't even have mattress, fridges, nothing when we moved to the house. You had to start from scratch. Yes, we did. You we did. did. And it's still going. Unpacking has just begun at Brogina's home here on Hickory Drive. Her family was able to move back in almost one year after the blast. Not much done. You still have lots of houses empty or missing houses. So, but we, we fortune we are in. So thanks God, we in. Rogina says while renovations are still underway, her insurance company was amazing through all of this. One reason why her family is one of the first back on the block. A very different story, though, for some of her neighbors. So you're saying that all these cracks was ca were caused by the explosion? 150%. And you're having trouble proving that? It's, yes. It's a year ago, Anthony was in the process of gutting and refinishing his basement to turn it into a rental unit, but claims engineers with the insurance company are blaming these deep foundation cracks on, quote, long-term wear and tear, not the explosion. So it's been a struggle since this house explosion. From the beginning. Ago. Everything. It's all coming down. It's all coming down on us. Well, this family lives about 20 houses away from the blast site. The residents did not want to appear on camera, but they did take us on a walkthrough of their foundation issues that they say have not yet been settled with the insurance company. So one of the long ones, a long one, begins right here, was all the way along the side of the house, meets the stairs, and then uh, if you can just look here, these big cracks forming here. I'm being told that water now seeps into the basement. So every time it rains, uh, they're now getting a water down there, something that only started happening shortly after the explosion. Now, these foundation issues uh, do continue all around the side of the house. Our camera could also see damaged bricks crumbled to the ground. 25 homes remain uninhabitable, and while many here are stunned that so much work still has to be done, according to the mayor's office, the city of Mississauga has taken many steps to help residents pick up the pieces. Some of them include more than $30,000 in tax relief for impacted homeowners and speeding up the process for building permits so that construction could start as soon as possible. Do you expect it to take this long for your neighborhood to get back together? No, no. We thought, even the day when I leave the house, I thought we're going to be back in two weeks, take, take 11 months. Now, the high-rise building you can see behind me, the day of that explosion, all of those windows were blown out, and you can see uh, almost a year later, uh, they're still boarded up, so lots of repairs in this neighborhood still have to be done. Now, the mayor of Mississauga, uh, Bonnie Crombie, and the fire chief uh, will be here um, on, on Wednesday to discuss the recovery effort and what will, be, uh, what will happen moving forward.